at, um, just here at um, Ariel's studio. Finishing off my record, finally. My plan is like, I've got the EP in June on I Am Sound and then I think in the UK, like October, November will be the record and next year will be the record in the US. I come here for like a week and then half the time like, Especially like working with Ariel, we just go on like errands all the time and we're like getting distracted. We're like, let's go buy some soap. Okay, we go buy some soap. Today we spent like loads of time in Costco, just like wondering whether to buy some garden furniture. He bought like this crazy like shotgun of tequila and you like, it's round the corner. Yeah, go, you can get it. This is what Ariel bought from Costco last time he was there. But we do work. We do work as well, don't get me wrong, we work. Like, we work really hard. Yesterday we worked really, really hard. I had like crashed out and everything, so that's why we went and bought loads of Red Bull today, so we can like keep going. We kind of like unknowingly started working on it when we first met, which was like two years ago now. I was just kind of like meeting loads of people. Someone was like, you should really meet this guy. It was literally like I had to get on a plane in two hours and we kind of hung out and he was like, well, let's do this. And we did stay away. We were like, yes, let's do the whole record. And it kind of came like that. I come with material. I, I'm like, technologically, I'm just like not there. I'll make up like little, little demos and stuff like that. Sometimes I write completely from like fantasy and I just like to write things that sound beautiful and like lyrics that are cinematic and, and kind of like make people think of colours and situations and stuff like that. I really like that, creating like a story and creating a world and I think that's what Charlie XCX is about, like creating a world for people to get into, you know? The record's kind of like a blend between pink, the colour, not the artist, <laughs> gold and then black. That's kind of what the record sounds like in my imagination. It's kind of easier to, for me when I'm recording to be like, can you make this sound like more golden, more, more sparkly, more like, you know, like coming out of the water and like staring up and seeing the sun and that's the kind of like explosion of colour. It sounds really wanky, but like, um, it just kind of, in my head, it kind of works like that. I started doing this when I was 14 and I had some like crazy songs about like dinosaur sex and the stuff that I was doing was really good in the context it was in which was the illegal warehouses raves in London but outside of that it was crap <laughs> so <laughs> I was really worried like oh my god like is it just gonna kind of be like a rerun of that but no it's totally different. I have quite a vivid imagination so I like to get it down on paper. <laughs> So I don't do anything too weird, you know?